So today is the day that I've sort of been dreading really. Um, we're going up onto the tidal trend. Just left Fandon Marina, had a lovely night there, and heading towards Newark. Um, so once you go through the town lock, which is this one, uh, into Newark, then you go right by the bottom of the castle, which is, um, you know, really, really nice to see. Um, and then there is another lock at the other end uh, of Newark, which is called Netherlock. Um, and then you're out of Newark, so uh, you're out onto this stretch of river um, and coming up on Cromwell Lock. This is us moored at Cromwell Lock. Mm -hmm. We had to stay there maybe two and a half hours um, waiting for the tide. Um, and then you go through the, the massive lock that is Cromwell. Um, like all the river locks, it has sliders in the walls so that you can hook a, a rope round front and rear to hold you steady. Um, and then obviously, um, you know, once they, they open the gates, you pull the ropes in and away you go. So once you go through these enormous gates, I mean, this really doesn't show how big it is, but once you go through here, you're on the tidal trend. Um, we have got the map, which to be honest, is a little confusing. Um, but we have got the map to show um, where all the sandbanks are and, and various obstructions, which side of the river you need to stay on and stuff. So uh, obviously that's that's what we did. Um, we did manage uh, to get grounded slightly on a, on a gravel bank, um, but uh, it, it didn't take a lot of doing for uh, for us to use the pole and, and shove ourselves off and get going again so it wasn't a huge huge problem other than um because neil had had to use reverse quite a lot it um it overheated the engine a little bit but running off some hot water soon brought the temperature back down and it didn't go back up so i think it was just the the enormous amount of uh, reverse uh, revs he was giving it to try and get it off the bank uh, along with the the pole um, so it's you pass an awful lot of um, skiing clubs and things like that as well so that's fun going over their um, their waves it's uh, it's not normally um, the case on a narrow boat that you're, you're going over breaking waves but it's certainly interesting um, so our plan was to head for Torxy, which is what we're doing now. We're, we're heading out to Torxy. Um, and we're going to moor at Torxy overnight. Um, we saw some fantastic wildlife. Um, we saw herons, um, ducks, geese, swans, gulls. But we saw cormorants. We saw... Quite a few snowy egrets. We saw kingfishers. Um, we saw um, crows, things like that. Um, and there's just always something to look at. And the skiers falling off can be quite amusing as well, especially when they're causing you to, to rock about. Um, it's quite satisfying to see them. Um, but here's one of the uh, swans that was right in front of us. We actually chased it off, as you can see. So we did make it to Torxy. This is the uh, teapot wall outside the tea room, which was closed by the time we got there, unfortunately, but, but not to worry. So we're moored up uh, just outside the lock. We're not going down the uh, Foss Dyke because we're getting straight off. And the plan was... Um, to go the next morning on the tide we had to leave at quarter to six to get down to Kidby unfortunately disaster struck when Neil checked the um, alternator belt um, a bolt had managed to work its way loose drop into the engine room couldn't find it anywhere um, so we ended up this is uh, the next morning waking up uh, this is after quarter to six this is about 6 30 uh, because we couldn't go anywhere until a garage up the road opened neil could go down and get another um, nut because we just could not find the one that's dropped off um, so neil 
got himself down in the uh, engine room and um, replaced the belt because it had um, damaged the belt. Luckily, we did have a spare belt. We just didn't have one of the nuts. Uh, so hopefully we will be setting off tomorrow for Kidby. So thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this part of the journey. For the next part of the Tidal Trent, uh, please subscribe and click the bell and it'll let you know when uh, the next video is released. Thanks for watching. Thank you.